The documentary followed farmers from the Aguan Valley in Honduras and the struggles they encountered after political turmoil. More than 50 people came to the screening held in Xavier Hall as the first event of the Language and Literature Film Festival series. I think that what the people in Honduras are doing is really brave, especially since they're marginalized people and they don't have a lot of power. Well, they don't have a lot of power, but we saw the film that they do. I really liked it. I thought that it presented the voices really well and it had a lot of diversity in who it talked to. It represented a lot of like women and groups that you don't often hear from. The director of the film, Jesse Freeston, led a discussion after the screening. Students had the chance to ask him questions about travel, filming, and follow up on the people featured in the film. I looked and still it had been, it had been a year and a bit since I'd been in, in the Iguan Valley and nobody else had really picked up the story in terms of doing documentary and I couldn't believe it because for me it was like the most audacious thing, you know, to, to respond to a, a military coup d'etat by taking over the plantations of the most powerful person in the country and converting them into a co-op. Um, and then all the violence that came after that and they still maintained them. And I just thought, okay, well, that's what I'm doing. This film is another way to connect students around the world, connect us all in, um, in social change, in progress, and in working together to discover what we can do for not only ourselves, but for one another.